think I'm just too old for the bucket hat. Like, the bucket hats are so cute. Everyone I see wearing one, I'm like, oh, that is so cute. I need to get myself a bucket hat. Say sent me this adorable bucket hat in my favorite color, and I don't know. I think I'm just too old. I'm in my 30s, and the bucket hat is just... I just need to let it go. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna do a full face of Say Beauty. I have used Say Beauty on my channel before. I feel like for me as a whole, the brand is kind of hit or miss. There's some products that I've really enjoyed. There's some products that I have not enjoyed, um, but they actually just sent me a really beautiful PR package and I thought we could just do a full face. There's quite a few products that I'd never tried before. So we're gonna create this very, 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 very glowy makeup look. I think when it comes to Say, they their vibe is very glowy. They do glowy, glowy, glowy. They don't do matte, which can be difficult for someone like me who lives in a very hot climate and has more of a normal to combination skin type. I definitely kind of favor a more natural to matte finish. Um, but I'm excited to play around with some new products and I will of course let you know how they wear, update you um, in you know future videos and things like that. But some of these are first impressions so it's not a full review, but there are some products in here that I do have definite solid opinions on so um, I can definitely give you that but anyway without further ado make sure you grab something to drink grab a snack something to enjoy while you watch this video and let's go and get started all right so let's go ahead and hop right in um, I've got a mix of new products as well as just some products that I've uh, already had in my collection um, so some of this will be new, we're trying it out for the first time, and some of it will be stuff that I already have opinions on. Um, so I'm trying to decide what I want to start with, because I have quite a few, like, base products, and I don't know which, um, which one I want to apply first. So I think I'm going to do the Sun Visor first, because that's their, uh, well, that is their sunscreen. I don't know if this has a shade. I feel like it does, but it's not written on here. Um, I think we'll start with that. I also have two of their glowy super gels. Is that what they're called? Yeah, glowy super gels. So maybe we'll incorporate that afterwards. All right, so we're gonna start with the Say Sun Visor. This is their one of their SPFs. They actually have two, and I have both of them, so we'll try out both. Um, but this one, I feel like, I think from what I understand, it doesn't have a lot of coverage. I feel like this did have a shade to it, but it was on the box and I don't see anything on the packaging. So if there is a shade, I will list it in the description box. But I'll go ahead and swatch it for you and show you what it looks like. So it's got this nice pump. I've never tried this product before, so we are trying this out uh, together for the first time. So that's what it looks like. It's a nice kind of cream Honestly, kind of looks like the Dermatology Universal Tinted Moisturizer that I really like. Um, so that's what it looks like. Looks very, very glowy, um, which makes me a little nervous just because I do have kind of combo skin and it's been really hot outside. So I'm definitely gravitating more towards more of a matte finish. Um, but we'll go ahead and apply this and see how it goes. So I'm just gonna take a little bit on my finger just work this over the skin there's no scent to it which is nice and it's really really thin yeah it feels nice you can definitely kind of see the pigment or I don't know what's in it I guess it's some kind of pigment in here I kind of see it on my skin it's a little light yeah it feels kind of initially feels like the dermatology SPF but this one definitely as you blend it in, it kind of feels a little bit more oily. Not necessarily a bad thing. Just definitely has more of like a dewiness to it. All right, so that's just one side with the sun visor. So looks really nice, blends it out really easily. Um, definitely has like um, a wet kind of feeling to it. Um, I don't see any of the pigment on my skin anymore now that I've blended it out and it definitely has a very glowy finish to it compared to this side. So it's 
what it looks like. Let me zoom you in. Um, but yeah, nice so far. It does have coconut in here. It's not coconut oil, but it has like coconut extract. It also has cocoa caprolate, which I think technically contains coconut. So that'll be something that I'll have to kind of keep an eye on because I am very sensitive to coconut oil. That's what that looks like. So I'm kind of debating on whether or not to apply this to both sides or to do the slip tint on this side so that we can kind of compare. But I think I'm going to go ahead and apply this to both sides so that we have like a nice even base before applying the slip tint. So I'm gonna take a little bit more. Really, really pretty look and feel on the skin. It definitely has that more dewy, kind of almost oily feeling on the skin, which I'm not a huge fan of, but um, I'm gonna let it sit on the skin for a little bit, kind of absorb and then we can kind of see how it looks. So that is sun visor on, whoops, sorry, I didn't mean to kick my camera, on both sides of the face. What do we think? I mean, you can't really tell that I have any kind of tint on the skin. It really just gave my skin a really glowy finish. And um, I did not apply any moisturizer before doing this because I knew I was going to be applying this, which I feel like kind of acts like a moisturizer. So I did not have anything on my skin. I just had like freshly cleansed skin and I applied this on top and I'm kind of glad because I think if I would have put a moisturizer on underneath this, it would be maybe a little bit too much. All right, so honestly, I really like the way this looks and feels on the skin. I don't really expect to like really like it initially just because um, I don't go for these more dewy sunscreens and just dewy products, but I actually really like this. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this, but it does, has an, it does have an SPF of 35. You're getting 1.35 ounces, and this is a mineral sunscreen, which is great. My skin does not do very well with chemical sunscreens, I'm finding out this summer. So I've really been on the hunt for um, some really good mineral sunscreens and we'll just have to see how this works on my skin. I think just first impressions it's nice but the true test is going to be actually wearing it and seeing how my skin kind of handles um, the coconut in here. Um, but yeah, really nice. I like it so far. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to their other kind of... Well, do I want to do... Yeah, let's go and do this and then we'll move on to the super glowy gels. Um, so this is their slip tint. This is another SPF 35. Um, it's also, let's see, this one's called a tinted moisturizer. The sun visor is called a radiant moisturizer. So there are differences in the name and I believe this one has more coverage. All right, so this one actually does have a shade on it. They sent me the shade three. So we'll see if this works on my skin. Um, Again, this is a mineral sunscreen, SPF 35. You're getting the same amount, 1.35 ounces. So I think I'm just gonna apply it just like I did the sun visor. So this is the shade three. That looks really, really light. Oh yeah, and you can definitely tell this has more pigment to it. I'm gonna take a tiny bit. I'm gonna start on one side of my face so we can kind of compare. Oh, wow, yeah, I think the shade is too light for me. Which actually, I have their Glowy Super Gel in Sun Glow. Maybe on the other side, I'll mix a little bit of that in and see if that kind of helps with the shade match. It does not have a scent to it. it just kind of smells like makeup, uh, but it doesn't have like an SPF scent to it. All right, again, this is feeling very, very oily on the skin. Um, yeah, I don't know how this is going to hold up. I'm kind of curious to see how this will wear throughout the day. Um, but this is one side with slip tint, one side without, so you can see, I mean, maybe a slight kind of evening out, a little, maybe a little less redness, but definitely not a lot of coverage. Now, typically, you're, you're probably not going to be layering these two products, so I'm feeling like this is very oily on my skin, but it could just be because I did layer the two. Um, so I'll have to try them, or try the slip tint separately. And as far as shade goes, once you blend it out, I mean, you can't tell that it's not like a great match. 
Um, again, my it matches my face, I think, really well. I think it's more so just my body that it doesn't really match, but that's just because my face doesn't match my body. You can kind of see when I first start blending it out how light it is. But once it's fully blended out, the shade is not as noticeable. But I could definitely go a shade deeper than this. Alright, so we are looking quite dewy. Definitely more dewy than what I'm comfortable with. Um, yeah, and I just don't know how this would hold up throughout the day. So this is definitely something that I'll have to test out um, consistently and just play around with. I am doing a pool day tomorrow, so I think I'm going to wear the sun visor tomorrow to the pool and see how that does on my skin. So the next product I'm going to use, I have talked about on my channel before. I'm not a huge fan of their concealer, and it's not that the formula is bad or, I mean, the texture is great. Like, I actually really enjoy quite a few things about this concealer. It just doesn't have enough coverage. And for me, I feel like if I'm going to be taking the time to put a concealer on and apply more product to my skin, I need it to do something. And this to me just kind of feels like a tinted concealer or something, like if that makes sense, like a, like a tinted moisturizer version of a concealer. It's so, so, so light coverage. And I just don't find that it does enough for me. I would much rather use something with a little bit more coverage or just not use concealer at all. Um, so the two shades that I have are, okay, so I have shades one and three. One is way too light for me. Three is too dark for me. So I kind of just mix the shades. I'm assuming there's a shade two, which would be my shade. Um, but yeah, this concealer, it just does not... It doesn't do enough. And I just feel like if you're going to be applying concealer, you're applying concealer for a reason, like you need to cover things up. This just doesn't, doesn't, doesn't quite do it, but it's nice, it's pretty, it's got a really pretty finish. The texture is really nice, it blends out beautifully. Like it looks pretty on the skin, especially in the under eye area, because it is like a very hydrating formula but just the coverage is not exactly where I want it. Honestly, it reminds me so much of the Neutrogena Radiant Cream Concealer, if you've tried that one. It definitely has something, like it definitely provides coverage. I just feel like I would rather just skip this step altogether and just not wear concealer um, because this just doesn't do very much. All right, so that is the Sun Visor Slip Tint concealer. We've got quite a few products on the skin. Um, I am feeling feeling a little oily. I'm definitely feeling a little oily, but I do have a powder um, from Say that I've actually tried before and uh, I really like, so hopefully that'll kind of minimize some of the shine. But before we do that, let's do a little bit of the glowy super gel and then we'll do some bronzer. So I have two shades. The shade that I've had the longest and the one that I've used on my channel is the shade Star Glow. It's the lightest of the two. Um, I love the packaging of this product. It's um, a glass bottle, but I don't know if you can tell on the inside, it's this little bag so that whenever you use it up, you can just recycle it. Um, but I just think the packaging looks really cool. So this is the shade Star Glow. It's the lightest of the two. Um, these are very, very sheer, so they don't have a ton of pigment to them. Um, but I've always wanted to try the shade Sun Glow, which is the deepest. I have not tried this one yet. So we have Star Glow and Sun Glow. Um, so this is actually one of the products from Say that I really, really enjoy. I'm trying not to mix these together. Um, but it's a very, very sheer, very glossy, just really, really like beautiful product on the skin. Like it literally just looks like gloss on the skin, but it's not overly greasy or oily. I'm going to, how do I want to apply this? I'm just going to pump a little bit on the back of my hand. And I'm just going to pick it up with my sponge. And just, not that we need more glow, 
but just for the sake of the video, I'm just going to pat it on the cheeks. Yeah, you can see like it looks very dark when you first pump it out, but it's it's a very, very, very sheer product. But yeah, I absolutely love this product. Like if you love a no makeup makeup kind of highlight where it just looks like your skin is very hydrated and moisturized and juicy, but it's not oily or greasy or slippery, you will love this product. It is really, really good. This is another product that I have tried and this is a product that I did not like. So I'm interested to try it again, see how it goes. But this is the uh, Sun Melt Cream Bronzer. This one just did not work out for me. A lot of it was because it just didn't last and I felt like I would blend it on the skin and then like a minute later it was already gone. I don't know, I couldn't get it to show up on my skin. So I have the shade Light Bronze which might be a little light for me, we'll see. Um, I think this is the shade that I originally tried as well. I can't remember, I don't know if it was light or medium that I tried. Yeah, I just felt like it just didn't stay on my skin for some reason. So I'm going to use the brush that goes with it. I'm just going to swirl it in there. And this is definitely more of a dewy bronzer as well, which I like more of a matte finish. So I think it's just preference, you know, because I know a lot of people really, really love this bronzer. But I just felt like it just did not last on my cheek. So definitely more on the warm side, but it's really pretty blends out easily like I literally had no issues with this bronzer at all except the fact that I just could not see it on my skin after a few minutes I don't know what happened my face ate it it just completely disappeared so I went a little bit more heavy-handed because we are going to be applying powder on top of this and I want it to show up um, but I am going to go ahead and go in with their powder which actually really really like and I didn't think I was because it is more of a um it's well it's called their radiant loose setting powder so it has more of a, a radiance to it um it's not a matte finish um, but this is what it looks like I really like the packaging and you just twist this little thing and then the powder comes out of these little holes right here so I'm going to take a little bit of that and then I'm also going to take their brush. I can't remember what it's called, but it's the brush that goes with the powder. And I'm going to set my face and take away some of this shine because we are looking super, super glowy. All right, so I just finished applying the powder. I still feel like I look very, very dewy, but I think it's just because this kind of more radiant powder on top of all those really creamy emollient products, it's just making me look really, really glowy. And I will say the bronzer, it just, like you can kind of see it, but it just disappears on me. I don't know, I don't know what it is about this bronzer. It just does not stay on my skin. I don't know if I need a deeper shade or something to like actually show up, but yeah, this bronzer just doesn't, doesn't want to stay on my skin. It's really strange. It's the same exact issue I had the last time. I don't know if maybe applying powder on top, like picks it up or something. I don't know what it is, but this bronzer just does not stay on my skin. I much prefer the Rose Ink uh, solar bronzer which is my current favorite cream bronzer um, so so good over this one this one's just it just doesn't it's just not showing up and it's a little too dewy for me so I actually decluttered all of my blushes from say when I moved because I wasn't a huge fan of their blush formula either it was just kind of the same thing like they did not last on my cheeks it was really weird I don't know what what was going on but uh, a formula that I prefer over the say ones that's very very similar uh, in terms of like even just the packaging um, application all that is the rare beauty blushes and this is in the shade hope so I'm gonna take a little bit of this I like these blushes because they are more of a matte finish well I guess it depends she does have different finishes um, but I like I like this blush formula so much better so I'm just going to take that on the cheeks. Hello, it is the next day. 
Um, I was actually editing this video and realized I did not do an outro to this video. So I thought I would go ahead and take this opportunity to test out the sun visor today because I'm going to be at the pool and see how this wears all day at the pool. And I will update the description box and let y'all know how it wore. I might wear it the rest of the weekend as well, just depending on how today goes. So I will put that in the description box as well. Any additional notes? But yeah, I thought we would just, since I didn't do an outro, let's just continue this little journey we've got going on. And I just love the way that this applied yesterday. And I'm kind of curious to see how it, how it does on my skin. I'm actually very nervous because I have been dealing with a lot of breakouts recently. I think a lot of it is because of the sunscreens that I've been using. My skin has not been enjoying them, so I'm a little nervous, but we're gonna do it anyway for the tube and see how this goes. So again, this is the Say Sun Visor. This only comes in one shade. I did look online while I was editing. There's only one shade um, to this. So yeah, for some reason I thought there were multiple shades, but yeah, there's not. So I'm gonna do about three pumps of this and just work this across the face. Yeah, just like yesterday, it does look very, very dewy. And it feels a little heavier on the skin, kind of feels oily on the skin, which I'm not a huge fan of. This is just making me so nervous. Oh, I just feel like I'm going to break out so bad from this. But we'll see. Fingers crossed. That is Say Sun Visor. Again, check the description box. I will put any notes in there. Um, I think tomorrow, no, not tomorrow. Well, actually tomorrow I might be going to the pool as well. I just, I don't know. I'm just taking these last two days of the week off and just hanging out with the kids at the pool. Um, and then Saturday I'm actually doing something really outdoorsy. I'm doing like zip lining and a bunch of like, uh, what is it called? Like obstacle course type things outside. So I may wear this on Saturday as well. So it'll be a good good weekend, good few days to test this out and see how it goes. Um, but yeah, so that's the sun visor. Looks really pretty on the skin. It just feels a little heavier, which when I'm at the pool and stuff, I don't really care so much because I'm just, I'm sweating anyway. Like I don't really care how it feels, but when I'm out and about or wearing makeup, that's, that's where we're gonna have to see how this performs. Um, obviously I'm not wearing makeup to the pool today, so I can't test that out, but if I do wear makeup on top of it, I will, of course, put that in the notes as well. So always check the description box. I try and be as uh, detailed as possible. And I'm going to go and do a proper outro. So thank you all so much for hanging out with me yesterday and today. Um, I'm actually really excited that I got to kind of add this to the video and we can kind of see how this performs today at the pool all day. See if I just break out all over. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but thank y'all so much for being here as always. Remember, I love you. God loves you. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys. You are